hello everyone in this video I will explain about the different types of computer the computers are classified into different types on the basis of their working mechanism on the basis of their size and power and similarly on the basis of their purpose of using computer so let's see by the function there are three types of computer analog computer digital computer and hybrid computer similarly on the basis of size and power or capacity there are four types of computer microcomputer mini computer mainframe computer and supercomputer in the same way on the basis of purpose there are two types of computer a special purpose computer and general purpose computer in this video we will see all these types of computer in detail so stay connected with me let's see about the analog computer analog computer is such type of computer that process the analog signals analog signals are the continuous form of data uh, that are in the form of uh, physical quantities like pressure temperature or velocity and so on these data are changeable in nature and those computers that are capable to process such analog information or analog data they are the analog computer and analog computers are basically designed to do the specific task so they are a special purpose computer for example the speedometer it is designed to measure the speed similarly the thermometer it can measure the temperature only and seismograph which is used to measure the magnitude of the earthquake so analog computers are the special purpose computer that are capable of processing analog signals and giving the result in the analog form now let me tell you about the digital computer those computers that process the digital signals are called the digital computer digital signal means the discrete form of data or discontinuous form of data that are in the digital form uh, it is a computer that performs calculations or logical calculations with quantities that are represented as digits usually in the binary number system so our digital computer works on the binary number system they are the general purpose microcomputers that are used for various tasks these computers are very uh, versatile because they are used in multiple fields and they are capable of doing multiple tasks for example the desktop computer or the laptop computer and uh, smartphones or the tablet all these uh, computers are the general purpose computer and they are the digital computers let's see about uh, the hybrid computer hybrid computer are those computer that has the feature of both analog computer and digital computer it means they can process both analog and digital signals and hybrid computers are also the special purpose computer because they are designed to perform a specific task and these computers are very powerful as well as expensive computers for example the CT scan machine used in hospitals for diagnosing the uh, disease of the patients similarly the MRI machine or the radar system in the aeroplane and uh, in uh, different other uh, aircrafts are the examples of hybrid computer that are capable of processing both the analog and digital signals so hybrid computers are those computer that process both analog and digital signals and they have the feature of both analog and digital computers now I will show you about the different types of computer on the basis of size and power under this category the smallest computer is the microcomputer a microcomputer is a small relatively uh, inexpensive or cheaper uh, digital computer that ha has the microprocessor as the main processing unit uh, microcomputer are the general purpose computer that are used for multiple tasks uh, for example for our household activities like making documents or for official use and for entertainment purpose for watching movies listening to music for this uh, purpose we use microcomputer and they are designed to be 
used by the single user at a time all the personal computers like the desktop uh, laptop or the uh, tablets or smartphones are some of the examples of microcomputer and these computers are the smallest computer under this category and very uh, useful computers for our general activities and the next is the mini computer mini computer are mainly multi-user and multitasking computers uh, these computers are smaller than mainframe or supercomputer however they are more powerful than micro computers many computers are used for scientific and engineering computations in business for transactions and processing of huge files and managing the database so they are the computers that are used for such activities and the examples are the IBM mid-range computers or the Honeywell 200 and TI-990 so these are some examples of mini computers and the next is the mainframe computer a mainframe computer is more powerful and bigger than the micro and mini computer but less powerful than the supercomputer these computers are ultra high performance computers made for high volume processing of data and instructions a mainframe computer is used in industries to process a huge amount of data and perform large operations so uh, they are the uh, more powerful computers than the mini and micro computers that are capable of performing large calculations in the organizations or in the industries the examples of mainframe computer are the IBM Z series uh, system Z9 and system Z10 servers so these uh, computers are the mainframe computers which are more powerful computers than the mini and micro computer however less powerful than the supercomputer and the next is the supercomputer which is the most powerful computer in the world it is the most expensive and the most powerful uh, computer that is huge in size and have the capacity of highest processing speed it is used for processing huge volumes of data and for scientific research weather forecasting uh, launching rockets testing bombs uh, for this special task the supercomputers are used the example of supercomputer are the summit supercomputer or Sierra or we can say the Trinity supercomputer Frontera Cray one Fugaku uh, which is the most powerful and the fastest computer in the world Fugaku is in Japan that is the most powerful and the supercomputer at present now let's see the types of computer on the basis of the purpose for what purpose they are used so on the basis of there are two types of computer special purpose and general purpose computer first of all I will talk about the special purpose computer uh, the computers that are designed to perform only one task effectively are called the special purpose computer so they are uh, designed to do a special task or the single task effectively such computers are the special purpose computers uh, these computers may be the analog or the hybrid computers and these computers are used for only one type of job they can perform only one task properly or we can say effectively for example the ATM machine the task of this uh, computer is to help the customers to withdraw money similarly the CT scan machine it is used in hospitals for uh, finding out the disease of the patient similarly the digital camera or the seismograph machine that is used to measure the magnitude of the earthquake so such computers that are used for only one task uh, they are the special purpose computer and lastly let's see the general purpose computer those computers that are designed to perform the multiple tasks effectively uh, such computers are the general purpose computer so uh, these computers can be used for various jobs they can do multiple tasks and can be used in multiple fields 
um, general purpose computers are basically the digital computers or the micro computers that are used for our general activities such as preparing documents playing games learning and searching uh, using internet for this uh, general purpose we use uh, these computers and the examples are the laptop computer or the desktop computer uh, tablet or the smartphones so these computers are the general purpose computers because because they are used for uh, general task and they can be used for multiple tasks so these computers are the general purpose computers and this much for now in this video i hope you have understood all the categories of computers and if you have any doubt uh, let me know in the comment section uh, thank you everyone if you have learned something please subscribe this channel i'll be back with another video thank you everyone